Problem number nine of section 1.4.1 .1 is something that looks a little bit familiar from previous sections where we're given a piecewise defined function and we're asked to solve, um, solve for a variable such that the function is continuous. Well here we have a little bit more. We actually have two variables that we need to solve for a and b and we want to make the function actually differentiable which is a little bit stronger than continuity. So continuity is one thing that we need to check but we also need to make sure that the derivatives agree on this point as well. So we know that at the point, or at, excuse me, at, at the point um, x is equal to 4, which is the only point we really need to worry about since both functions are differentiable everywhere as long, um, no matter what values of a and b that we plug in. Uh, so we need to look at the derivative of the first point here, or the first equation when x is equal to 4. Well, first equation. So we know that the derivative of f prime, or the derivative of f evaluated at 4 uh, is going to be, well, if x is less than or equal to 4, we look at this uh, top equation, and the derivative of 2x plus 3 is just 2. So we have this. Now, we need to make sure that, okay, if x is just a little bit bigger than 4, is the derivative going to agree as we come in from the right? So the derivative of the bottom half here is going to be 2x plus a. Now we want to evaluate this at 4 and make sure that it agrees with the actual derivative. We evaluate this at x equals 4. We have uh, 2 times 4, 8 plus a equal to 2. Or a equal to minus 6. So now that we have our value of a, our next step is to we'll make sure that the function is also continuous. So we know that, um, let's just substitute in here. So we have x squared minus 6x plus b if x is greater than 4. Now we need to make sure that these values actually agree, um, or these two functions actually agree at the point x is equal to 4. So f of 4 is plugging into the top equation here. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is just 11. And in the bottom, we have 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus b should also be equal to 11. So we solve this for b. We have 16 minus 24 plus b is equal to 11, which then gives us b, we have minus 8, uh, equal to 11, which says that b is equal to 11 plus 8, or 19. So our final answer, I'll rewrite f over here, with the variable substituted in, it's going to be 2x plus 3 if x is less than or equal to 4. And it'll be x squared minus 6x plus 19 if x is greater than 4.